everybody, welcome back to Air Max Dojo! <laughs> hey, I wish one of your mother f***ing dog fruit, huh? If there's one thing ninjas hate, it's fruit. Fruit Ninja was a sensation on mobile devices. Your iPhones, iPads, and even the Android. It's a fun distraction that you could fart around with for 30 minutes while you wait. And it's such a simple mechanic. You slice your finger across the screen to slice fruit up, scoring points as you go. Occasionally a bomb gets thrown up and you have to be careful to avoid it otherwise it explodes and ruins your score. That's pretty much it. Super simple, but super addictive. Now they've ported the game over to Xbox's Kinect on Xbox Live Arcade. This is part of their new initiative to put out a new Kinect enabled arcade game once every month. Fruit Ninja Connect being the first. And believe it or not, it's a surprisingly good fit. A ton of fun and a workout. They've even added multiplayer where you can cooperate or better yet, compete against each other. actually feel like a bit like a ninja. And like a real ninja, you can appear and disappear in a puff of smoke. Allow me to demonstrate this ancient art. Okay, so it's Kinect's way of telling you you're too close or too far from the screen. It's still pretty awesome. Now gameplay hasn't changed much, you just swipe your hands instead of swiping your finger. And the Kinect seems to read this motion pretty well. Unfortunately, it doesn't really apply very well to the menus. It seems overly sensitive there and you're gonna be frustrated sort of navigating through those. Now, depending on the mode you're playing, classic, zen, or arcade, you'll get all sorts of different fruit, like frenzy fruit with an impressive light show, new color-coded fruit, and even this new sweet fruit type that zooms in and allows you to go all Bruce Lee style on it. <laughs> There's also a challenge mode and the master's dojo. Visiting the dojo allows you to unlock different customizations. It just changes the color of your swipe type. Yeah, kind of pointless. But the challenge mode utilizes the Xbox Live leaderboards to keep you motivated to beat your friends. Just remember, mine kung fu is better than your kung fu, Dan.
Unfortunately, even with these tiny additions here and there, and the addition of multiplayer, it still frankly feels like an overpriced minigame that, that should have been part of a bigger set. It costs 800 Microsoft points. That's gonna set you back $10. Whereas the app version only costs 99 cents. And you could take that one anywhere you want. It just, it's just a pretty big jump. Therefore, the final verdict for Fruit Ninja Connect is a six out of 10. It's definitely fun and addicting, don't get me wrong, especially with the multiplayer mode added. Unfortunately, it's gonna get old kind of quickly. It's just the game that you open up a set for game night with. It's not one that's gonna have a lot of staying power without any substantial modes added to it. In its current form, this game needed to be 400 Microsoft points, $5 max. Then I'd be able to recommend it to any and all Connect owners as a must buy. But at $10, I just can't right now. But if you hate fruit just as much as ninjas do, wait until the price drops before you unleash your rampage. Hmm. Until then, oh, that's good. Mm. I'll see you guys. Mmm. Oh, it's juicy. On the next Angry Joe Slow.